were involved in that three in a breast tackle at the top of Eau Rouge. He's now talking to Louise Goodman. Takumi, you were really a victim of events happening up ahead of you in that race, weren't you? Yeah, really extremely disappointed. Oh, oh um, sorry to interrupt you, Takuma, car. but we've had a spin there from Alonso, but he has managed to keep going. It's not, it's cost him the lead. Raikkonen has gone through. He has rejoined, but, uh, well, that was a very dramatic incident. Yeah, I think he's just dragging some, uh, well, yeah, I wonder, you know, there he goes again. He's got oil spilling out on his rear tyres. Would be pretty sure of it. Alonso then, that is definitely out of the lead. He'll not get out of there. He'll be buried down. And uh, Alonso then, I would be sure, has got an oil leak at the back of the car. Raikkonen leads the Grand Prix. David Coulthard second. A couple of Toyotas did drive out of there, but not once when you first break through the gravel. The car bellies out on the under tray. And uh, it's a long, that's as far away from the pits as you can get. Look, turns in normally, and he will be more surprised than we were even when it just swaps ends. And uh, he'll think, how did I make that mistake? I don't think it was his mistake because he has another sort of pathetic spin, really. And uh, it's a totally unpredictable spin when he gets to the bottom of the hill in the hip. And that is a McLaren. I think it's David Coulthard with a puncture then. Coulthard, well just crawling back to the pits, all going off here. What a dramatic lap this is, lap 12 at Spa-Francorchamps. We've lost race leader Fernando Alonso, and now David Coulthard, who was in second place behind his teammate, Kimi Raikkonen, has got a right rear puncture and has got a coast around. I wonder if it's because of debris left on the track after all those accidents in the first lap. Certainly we've seen uh, quite a few punctures. Indianapolis springs to mind where carbon fiber left on the racetrack, had that huge puncture caused to, uh, well, Ralph Schumacher, of course, and Fernando Alonso. Very dramatic moments then here at Spa-Francorchamps, and Ted Kravitz has news for us. Oh, James, it happened at exactly the wrong moment. The team came out when DC must have just been going up the straight after Eau Rouge, so they knew, he told them on the radio, they knew that he had a problem. The tyres were out. The team is still in the pit lane now for the unscheduled stop, but is DC going to make it back? Well, as long as the carcass of the tyre either flies off like a polo mint and gets out of the way or stays where it is, as long as it doesn't unravel itself and start smashing the rear wing to pieces, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they're...